Yo, what's going on, D-Squad? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing my thoughts on the Galaxite tournament. Now, for those who may not know or didn't watch, Galaxite just hosted Minecraft Bedrock Edition's first official server tournament with a huge $2,000 prize pool. To score points, you had to win games and get kills. Winning games would also get you a secured spot in the finale, and the first game was one round of Chronos, which is a battle royale based on time gathered from killing players. The second round consisted of three rounds of Hyper Racers, and the top performers from those three rounds would race in a final game of Hyper Racers to determine the best of the eight. The third round consisted of three rounds of Rush, which is basically Sky Wars. The best of those three would face each other in a final game of Rush to determine the best. The winners of those three game modes and seven other people with the highest score would fight in a finale. Now the issues. Now right off the bat, unfortunately due to myself and another person, the IP for the tournament was leaked and that caused a few extra people to get into the server and due to that they were banned from the network for two hours just so they wouldn't cause any more issues. Now that wasn't really the server's fault but myself but as we discussed in a debrief in a future tournaments it will be better protected. The server will probably be whitelisted to prevent this from happening. And due to these issues while the intro cinematic was rolling which was announcing the tournament it was extremely laggy and, and it took almost a solid minute if not more to catch up and start the tournament. And then the first round of Chronos actually crashed the server, causing everyone to redo this round. This was caused by memory overload, due to the fact Chronos games typically don't start with 32 players, and with so many people playing and spectating when they died, including staff that were watching the game, it ended up being roughly 45 players. And fortunately for me, I had just died and didn't even place within the top 20 in that round, so I knew I had to redeem myself, and I ended up getting 7th place next round with 13 kills which put me in fourth place on the scoreboard after that round. The next issue was in the first round of Hyper Racers, and some players crashed during that round, and some group their score didn't even save. Instead of manually redoing and inputting their scores, we later decided to void that entire round and not count the scores at all. Now all around, I still believe this tournament was a huge success. It was very well organized, the staff did great communicating, and it felt amazing to play through. And the team just seemed dedicated to make it fun and amazing for everyone. I personally feel Galaxite just set a very high standard for other servers to beat, including the Hive. The Hive showed us how servers were supposed to be on Bedrock, and I think Galaxite just showed us how tournaments can be hosted on Bedrock. Now the winner of the tournament ended up being Taria. They did end up winning first place for $1,000. Insane Orbits got second place for $500. Now Emotionless or Vantanage got third place for $300, and Potato Pie ended up getting the popular vote for $100. I personally ended up 5th on the scoreboard, but placed Faith in the finale game. Again, this tournament was amazing to play in, and I'm so excited to see what Galaxite can do in future tournaments. Did you guys enjoy this video? If so, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like on this video. Thank you so much for watching, peace out, and bye bye.